Hey y'all, Gregor here with a brand new Snap Judgments deck guide. We got three really cool lists from our friend Snap Judgments, better known as Pulse Glazer Online. One of them was the really, really popular Splat list that I know TLSG featured recently. We've been kind of seeing it all over. I really, really enjoyed that list, but I think there's already been so much coverage. I want to do something a little different. We also got a really cool list from our friend Flash, Agent Zoo, uses agent venom along with a bunch of other low cost zoo cards and you're able to build good stuff just from the benefit from the agent venom the last list that we got was really really interesting it was like a off meta move list with scream but also a bunch of affliction cards and it originally had three cards that i ended up taking out and replacing with other cards based off of how we were playing but also the feedback that i was getting from twitch and tiktok and we ended up with something that w worked well overall. Like, it did pretty dang good. It went, had a 61.2% win rate. It went 30 and 19 overall. So, solid stats there. So, the original list ran Hydra Bob, Silk, and then also Miles Morales, Spider-Man. We ended up getting rid of those three cards. So, instead, we have Scorpion, Rogue, and Arrow. And I think it just gave us better results. We tried a bunch of different things. But this is what ended up working the best for us. And it does really well. It can compete with Splat. It compete with Hella. It beats out Hella. It beats out a lot of other decks. So give it a go. Let me know what you think. If you haven't, please remember to like, subscribe, comment. Do all the things so the algorithm pushes out to more people. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get into the deck. So I'm going to start by highlighting the four cards that I feel like are necessary in this deck that really don't have sub options. So in this list, you are going to need... Hazmat. Hazmat is definitely an MVP within this list. You're going to also need Rogue, who is a Series 3 card. Another really, really good card here. Rogue often being MVP with how much Iron Man, Mystique, Luke Cage. A lot of ongoing stuff going on in the meta right now. So Rogue is definitely needed. Luke Cage is needed in this deck to work effectively. So you will want to have Luke Cage as well. Another Series 3 card. And then lastly, you will need Ajax. Ajax, I don't really see there being another 5 cost uh, option that can go tall the way that Ajax can with the Affliction style deck. You could try putting in Spider Woman, but I don't think it will work the same way that you want it to. I would say if you are going for another Affliction style deck, you could always try like the High Evo route. You could go High Evo Cyclops, and then you could also go Abomination for very little. But you're kind of getting away from the core of this deck being affliction and then also move so this deck stinky smooth scream thank you pulse glazer for the name runs silver sable hazmat scorpion scream us agent rogue luke cage polaris spider-man man thing ajax and arrow for i have a few different sub options for you if you are missing some of the cards if you're missing a one cost card like silver sable you could go iceman or nico if you are missing a card like scream you could go white widow or grandmaster if you are missing a, or you want to put in a different option than like Rogue, you could go Red Guardian. For a four cost card, if you are missing Man Thing, you could go Stegron. And then if you are missing Ajax, you could try going like Cannonball Stegron. But really, again, that's one of our bigger cards. Scream is only going to get so much value from the moves. But those are different sub options that I would recommend if you are looking for sub options. So let's get into the play lines for the deck. On one, you're usually, if you have Silver Sable, you're going to Silver Sable. On turn two, if you have Hazmat, Scorpion, and Scream, if you have Scream but you don't have anything to move after the Scream, go Scorpion. But if you have Scream and you're going to be able to do something like either Polaris or Spider-Man, go Scream instead and start building up that. Scream does only uh, proc one time per turn. So it doesn't matter if you move your opponent multiple times. She will only afflict a single time. U.S. Agent, also really good. You want to lay down U.S. Agent in the lane that they are most likely to put their tall cards. I wouldn't usually do it on two. I would usually save it for later. Rogue is there specifically to either steal your opponent's Luke Cage or if your Luke Cage gets Rogue, you Rogue it back to guarantee that you get that affliction value. Rogue was the thing that was winning me uh, matches up against Hela because Hela automatically loses. You get more value for your Ajax from Hela. So they kind of play against themselves if you're able to actually snipe with your Rogue. Luke Cage, again, you want to play that on three. On three, you either want to go Luke Cage, Polaris, Spider-Man. Polaris would be if you have Scream Down, obviously, or Spider-Man to move them out of a location that gives you value. So like Mojo World or something like that. 
Man thing, you want to lay down where, where their low one cost cards are. There's a lot of bounce. There's a lot of zoo stuff. So man thing gets crazy value from that. Ajax, you want to lay down on turn five or turn six. You could do Ajax in combination with Silver Sable. You could also do Arrow to move cards up away, which also gets you more value for Scream. So overall, remember that you only have to win two lanes, and you have a lot of ways to mess up your opponent and get those two lanes by either moving them away for a lane from a lane and just getting your Scream really, really big. It's a ton of fun. I hope you enjoy it. Give it a go. Again, let me know what you think in the comments. Arrow is one of those ones that ruins your day similar to similar to Magneto. Okay, I like that because few reasons. They okay, so they need the invisible woman. So I'm going to Polaris over here. Now, if they drop something behind Invisible Woman on five, it's probably Hella. I'm confused by that. What are they playing? We got Rogue Sable. Yeah, I could definitely see this being a hit monkey list. The double tap. I'm fine with that too. So that just means we're going to play these other lanes. That's it. Killmonger was the last card played, right? I think I snap on this. Oh, snap. So we're going to be pushing 16 left side. We'll see. We took away their invisible woman, so I think we have like a really strong chance of winning here yeah get over here and let me afflict you okay i'd like to be able to do all of these definitely think we win on that side yep that's definitely hit monkey we don't have luke cage out right now we also have prio here so i think our best bet is just to ajax right probably ajax right side because I think they're losing left side. I don't think they can make up the difference. Because they're not running big cards. So US Agent doesn't give us value here. Ooh, they got US Agent as well. And they're Hit Monkey. Okay, they got us. Wait. Wait a minute. Never mind. I spoke too soon. The four Cuber, baby. That is what I'm talking about. We'll take it by one. Victory. Hells to the F. Uh. Of course, Luke Cage. They lose the Red Guardian, though. We both lose our tech option. And we still do have Rogue in case they have sh their, uh, if they have Luke Cage. Which they might, because they have Sable. We'll see if this is a bounce list. Opponent Love that for you. Dude, I'm so excited for Toxin. Toxin is the card I'm most excited for this season. Which makes sense. They usually save the best card for, like, last. He's near the end, along with uh, Anti-Venom. So let's go Polaris. It's High Evo. So there's Yo! a good chance that they have Luke Cage. Yo! Cal, thank you for the Prime sub. Don't give it up now, Don't give it up. Thank you so much for your Prime sub. Welcome on in. So, okay, we're going to be smart about this. The way that we're going to be smart about this is I'm going to man thing here. And then I'm going to do, like, Spider-Man US Agent next turn. I very much appreciate that. Enjoy those emotes for the next... The next 30 days. Yep. Now the question is, do they run Luke Cage in their list or not? So I'm going to do Spider-Man... And then I'm going to do U.S. Agent over here. We have Pryo, I believe. Yeah, we got Pryo here. They've already snapped on this. So they'll probably get, yeah, Abomination for fairly cheap. I expect the Abomination in their list. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Boom. They're now clogged over here. Show me a big one. Ooh, okay. I I think we got this, y'all. Yo! Another one? Y'all, you guys are way too nice. Freeman. Don't give it up Freeman. Don't give it up now, Freeman. Don't give it up, 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 give it up. Yo, thank you so much. I think we got this. We have Pryo here. We arrow over the hazmat. 
which is also affected by man thing here and then we got sable yeah they're gonna go more negative with that that's fine nope we're good nope we're good y'all we might have cooked mutant and proud thank you so much for the sub i really do appreciate it taking a consistency now if they have zoo and they get Z gamma lab we're kind of in a rough spot i do have the spider-man play i could do at this location that's what i'm wondering either that or maybe it's a bounce list now i have no idea affliction decks are some of my favorite decks to play I love the Affliction shell. Like, I loved it. Remember before Affliction was a thing? Spider-Woman was the first Affliction card without it actually having what it was, which is Affliction. So they do get more value than us. Wait. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is definitely bounce. This is 100% bounce. Cool. So we have Luke Cage. So if we can get US Agent on the left side, that is really good value for us. Also, we win with the X Mansion RNG there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay Luke Cage down now. Actually, hold on. I'm tempted to hazmat on the curve that we have. Or, no, you know what? Let's go with Man Thing. Then we drop the Luke Cage and scream next turn, I think. I'm taking aim. I also have the hazmat ready to go. You know what? We're going to do Luke Cage hazmat. I don't think there's a way that they can beat right lane. Not with the Luke Cage. Ooh, we got some Werewolf by Night Gaming. Another card that is super underutilized right now. Um, I just win? Do I just win? Because they could strong chi us here. I could do that, and then let's do that. Because we do get the highest at that location. No, we're golden. Victory. I think we may have cooked, chat. It comes up. I have to explain it. You don't just leave it at mayo, you know? There has to be an explanation for it. That's the goal. I've been... So my best rank on ladder was within, like, top 900 at the beginning of the year. Back in the Thanos meta. You guys remember the Thanos meta, right? Where the only, like, deck that you could play was Thanos. So it looks like we're playing... I like this person. Their name is Hip Enjoyer. Respect to them. Also good for us here. Also, potential for value. I'm going to get multiple Luke Cages here. So, next turn, I could do Scream and U.S. Agent. Give me Thanos over pre-nerf Leech any day. Dude, I am the biggest Leech hater. He's okay now, but I would throw that, that, I would throw Leech into a volcano. Mayo bath, yeah. I got hosed down afterwards. Also, I'm going to see if our, if our lawn smells funny now. There was a lot of mayo water that was flipped onto the lawn. So we're going to see if there's any long-lasting impact from that. There's probably going to be a, a smell with it. I think we can snap on this. Uh, I'm newer to snap. What was Leech like before? So for, for Leech the first time... Just like would stop all of your abilities. 
Then they changed it to be only on reveals that he stopped. And then they changed it so he only hit six cost cards. So that has been the, the change of Leech over the different metas. All right, do we do... What was the last card they played? Scream? Do we do Scream and then Spider-Man? Seems good. See if we can move one of these guys over. There's a chance that we clog too. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Doesn't do anything because of Luke Cage. Yep, he was absolutely broken. That's awesome. Cannonball was the last card you played. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Sure does look like you are uh, going to be hit by US Agent here. And then do I do a hazmat as well? I think I do. I think I do a hazmat as well. We'll see if this is enough. The Luke Cage putting in the work here. That actually helps us more. They actually just gave us the game. So this is why we have Arrow instead of Cannonball. Victory. This exact reason. E-Brain, I have to multitask everything. I really enjoy playing snap wall and doing cardio. Like doing elliptical or like the Stairmaster. It connects two things that I enjoy. So like I get the dopamine hit from exercising, but I also get the dopamine from snap. That's my, my secret. Just combining those two things together. More US agents. More US agents. What is up, S-G-I-L? Eskil Jacoma. I hope I said that somewhat right. Lost 20 pounds, let's go. Dude, I'm telling you, it works. I got infinite my first time on a bike. I'm telling you, you, can, you mix those things together, like your brain can think of really good plays because you're doing both. Okay, so they waved. So I'm thinking, Snap is a great ADHD game. It's only 12 cards. It allows you to multitask a bit with it. So I think this is splat. Yep, this is splat, 100%. We were playing this earlier, which is why we have Rogue. So what we do, is I'm gonna drop Luke Cage as well as US Agent. We'll see where they're ending up doing. Maybe they blink here? Sure. We also have Rogue Friend. So I'm just gonna steal that right back from you. Thank you for playing. It's good to have you here. Um, Polaris. So we can win these two. We have Pryo here. Luke may be MVP this season. Either Luke Cage or Shadow King. Shadow King is probably MVP for me. I've gotten so many wins with Shadow King this season. Just absolutely shuts people down. Uh, if they don't have like a Luke Cage. Well, I mean, even if they do have a Luke Cage, Shadow King still hits the lane where they have Luke Cage. Shadow King has been absolutely popping off for me. So I just realized we have a turn seven. We're going to hit him with a rogue. The fact that they're taking so long. I'm going to apply some pressure. They don't have the play line. And even if they do, we have arrow next turn because we're going to keep priority. Scream or War Machine? Chat, what do you think? There Sarah is. So here's my play. I'm just going to arrow right over here. Like bam. And then I'm going to drop hazmat. Doesn't really matter the order. Some are saying War Machine, some are saying Scream. I don't know. I don't play War Machine a lot, even with the changes. That's not going to be enough. That's not going to be... Well, we tie there. We still win. 16 wins. Victory. We had it. You should always be buying through the web shop if you can. That is where the best value is at. I, how old do I look? I'll let you know, I'm 34. I was born in the 90s. 
What do you think about these borders? The new ones, the Spider-Man ones? I think they're great. I love them. I get that a lot. You want to know my secret? My secret is I don't go outside. Thank you. I stay healthy and I don't go outside. Except to go to the gym or go to the grocery store. Uh, I appreciate the compliments though, y'all. Um, Let's get man thing out right now. Which peach bundle? The Rian Gonzalez Silver Sable is mwah, It's so good. There's $300 bundles this month, just so y'all know. One is the Mobius Killmonger one. One is a Galactus one, and then there's another one. Huge peach drop on Wednesday? Hells yes. They know if they hire Peach Momoko, it's basically like an infinite money glitch. People are going to buy the Momokos. That's just how it works. I'm going to hold on to the Rogue for the fact that they probably... They probably have... Hold on, I'm going to do this over here. I'm going to do this. They probably have Darkhawk if they have Rock Slide in their list. I see Rock Slide, I'm like, okay, they have Darkhawk. Right, we're getting the Nightmare variants. Oh, hell yeah. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Um, we're going to move Rock Slide over here. We got Athena as well. So that's really good. All of these are very low cost. I'm guessing they have like Kitty Pride, right? This one doesn't get moved. I'm going to play this here. I want to see where they end up playing their Darkhawk. Because we still have the option to drop Rogue and Luke Cage. I'm guessing that's the Darkhawk. I am Iron Man. I still do the same thing. I do that, and then I'm actually gonna do this. That's my brilliant play to keep uh, Aunt Maze from popping off. Thank you for playing, guaranteed win there. I am Iron Man. That's my rock, and that's my Luke Cage. No! Oh no! That is mighty unfortunate. They were going to Iron Man. They were going to Mystique the Iron Man. Victory. But we hit him with the snipe. We sniped him with the Rogue. This is why you always have a tech option like Rogue or Red Guardian or something. So I know it's only three turns, and I don't think they're snapping. I don't think you snap in high voltage. Feel free to correct me. Actually, like, scream here that we can do Polaris. We Polaris the Pixie. They're playing Arashem. So Pixie is like just as likely to hurt them as to help them. I also like the fact that we get Luke Cage guaranteed safe there. Unless they drop Echo. Echo's the only thing that stops us at nowhere. Pixie value. That hit monkey does nothing. Yeah, I think I got a snap on this. So I can also man thing here. All these cards are below three cost. Or they're three or less, you know? Also, just want to say I'm super appreciative, y'all. We are like four subs away from 100 right now. And that's... That's wild. Like a couple months ago, I wasn't... You what? 30 subs was my goal. And like just the amount that we've grown and just very proud, you know? Let's see here. The last card they played was Sarah, right? So let's do this. I'm gonna move their Sarah. Cause we have Pryo. Come over here. That Wolfsbane will not be enough. All systems go. So we tie there. That Luke Cage is putting in work for us. That there. And then, I mean, this doesn't even do anything bad to us. US Agent knocks this down. Four, five, and six costs have negative four power. So that would be five. We're at six here. They can't play both. We win by one here. And we win mid. This is why we do math, y'all. This is why we math. Victory. Like I said, we lost the one cube. Now we go and we get the four cubes. We got Scream on two. Which I like because we can maybe move the Nebula. We also got US Agent up in here. I'm 
I'm going to steal an ability. There Rogue is. I think US Agent and Hazmat probably the play. At least with this, I can do Hazmat and then also get something from Tarnax. Maybe we get like a Lizard. So they are ongoing gaming right now. This is definitely a Spectrum list. Dazzler value. I will take that. Yes. They got Mojo. I mean, all I really have to do is this and then drop Polaris. Seems good. Opponent snapped. Polaris moves one of their low cost cards over here either way. So let's see what they got. I'm staying. I know they're going to drop Spectrum. They're going to drop Spectrum left. And let's move Mojo over here. So I can do that to him. Oh, value. Huge. Oh, I think we got him. We 100% got him. Let's go, gamers. Let's freaking go. Victory. Polaris coming in clutch there. Yep. A lot of people will just hit immediately after a game, right into their next game without taking any information or asking themselves to give, like, give yourself feedback or critically think about the plays that you made. And that is what makes you a better player is when you go back and you look at those things. Let's get US Agent out now. Fine. So we can White Widow Jotunheim. We have what we need. I also really like the fact that it protects our Luke Cage. This is a way that you can deal with Red Guardian, is you just play something to bait out the Red Guardian that's lower. 100%. And then also ask yourself, if it's a deck that you don't like, ask yourself, what is the matchup like? Is it just a good counter to the deck that you're playing? Because every deck has counters. It doesn't mean that your deck is bad. That just means that you you're, you should realize that you're getting countered by this deck. So you should retreat earlier if they snap on you. Taking those things into consideration. I mean, these are a lot. Black Bolt is for them. I'm going to Hazmat. They're playing Arshim. Another Arshim gamer. I was literally about to do the same thing to them. But now that we have Pryo, we can do this. We can move their arrow right over to this side. Probably better to have done it mid. Because US Agent would have hit it. Negative 4 versus negative 1 from Jotunheim. Right? We have the value of that there. I don't think they're going to be able to play every lane. They got to choose. 14. What do you got mid? Gamora, Shadow King. We tie there. And we actually win because of the tie Victory. mid. Because of the Jotunheim mid, and there was enough of a deficit on the right side that we ended up winning. Also, Spider Man at Comertage is gonna be fun. Yeah, we're 20 and 12 with it right now. 62.5% win rate. Honestly, you have anything in the 60s, it's a good deck. Alright, let's get Scream out now. Or we can get Scream out here. Or you know what? Scorpion left. Scorpion left, best value we could get here. Also, that's a great target for... This is beautiful. And TDA? Oh, uh, this is very unfortunate for them. So here's what I'm going to do. Sure. I'm going to Sable, and I'm going to Scream. Safety Blade told me anything over the 58% range is very... Exactly. Yep. That's what I see on untapped a lot. I got some bad news for them, though. So two things are about to happen here. Time's up. Let's see how much value we can get out of the... Uh...
Bam. I'm really excited to see what Spider-Man does here. I don't even care if we lose the eight cubes. I'm here for the memes at this point. I know Scream only goes off one time. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. No gambit play. There's one. There's two. And then a Jin. We'll see what they got. Modok, maybe? Wow. They they stayed on eight cubes on that? Why though? Victory. I feel legitimately bad. Additional fans. Okay, we got Scream. We can move the Titania with Scream. If they have Titania and it's a regular sized deck, my guess is that they're playing. They're probably playing Clog, right? That's what I think. So we're on three. What do we copycat? Copycat has nothing on it. We'll see if they decide to like White Widow over here. Okay, we're good. Because that moves the Titania. And Scream gets the value there. And we have the chance to potentially clog them as well. Let's loot cage mid. We won't be able to do US agent and something else until later. So let's get loot cage out now. Yeah, the sunspot is throwing me off as well. That's not just you. Okay, there's our hazmat. They, the fact that they floated that entire turn is also super interesting to me. I'm gonna actually go with arrow. Arrow's the play I'm gonna make here. Boom, we still get value. Fine. Ajax. Silver Sable. Too soon, Junior. I also think US Asia Right is a very good play for the monster. We're thinking the same thing. I'm about to juice this up. Okay. So I feel like they're gonna float this turn. They're gonna play Infinite. And they are also going to play. This is last turn either way. They can't float. They're done, y'all. I just realized, yeah, this is final turn. So let's go US Agent. Like, that's good value. And then we throw in a Scorpion, and we call it good. Actually, you know what? Let's spread this out a little bit more. I should Hazmat. I don't know why I was going to Scorpion. Never mind. We're going to Copycat, then Hazmat. I'm not going to snap because they're going to retreat if I snap here. They're going to have trouble beating me mid. That is not going to cut it. We're good. We played for the right lanes. U.S. Agent replacement, White Widow. If you don't have U.S. Agent, you can go White Widow. Man Thing gets a, gets a pass. This just needs a green crackle and it would be perfect. Man Thing is one of my favorite cards in the game. So I think we're going to go Scorpion on two. For sure, Hydra Bob was way better than people thought. Myself included. But originally he was a 1-4. As a 1-5, he is much better. 1-5 made him a better card. Well, luckily, Nomura's gonna be in Spotlight Caches tomorrow, along with War Machine and uh, Misery. I feel like Martyr needs to be a 1-6. Power Creep is very, very real. Like, this is a good week to spend keys. This would be a good... I still have not played a single thing here. I'm gonna play Scream here. And a really sick War Machine variant. Thank you very much. Hmm. Well, do I just man thing here now? They also have to play. If they're playing Jean Grey, I think they're playing War Machine. I need to look into what Misery's ability is. I think, okay. Also, you could probably do it with like Master Mold. Like think of all the annoying cards. White Widow, Master Mold, Black Widow. That's just what I'm thinking off the top of my head here. I like this because this moves. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. A second Nico play. Still gonna win that one. We have to play this here. 
Interesting. Well, I'm gonna go Ajax and call it a day. This is this my first play here? Yeah, that's the thing. That is the the grind for infinite, so you can actually play the game with other decks. Yo, welcome on in. Hello, thank you for the first time chat. Now nah, we got him. We got him. Waiting for the Wong and choose your card. Think it's coming? Well, I, I'm trying to send some good RNG your way that you get Wong. Are you in Series 3? Ooh, I got a free one. I just have this here. I also got a free thing of, like... I got a free thing of, like, creatine as well as Dextrose because Amazon messed up. And I got a free little fan. It doesn't normally overheat. Like, it has not overheated in a very long time. This is the same stuff I listened to at the gym. So, you're getting the exact same thing. Oh, we have a very talented hella gamer right now. Where are we? Okay, we hit hazmat. We can get their Luke Cage. Maybe they can mess up and, yeah, buy me a new camera. There we go. I and mean, this is a really expensive camera, to be fair. It just likes to overheat for some reason. It's a good camera. I think it's the Sony 5000 something. I'm going to need you to put a new camera on your throne. Don't. I can do that. Uh, if you look into it, don't make me look up cameras and which ones are good and all that. I do have lenses as well. I don't like this. They have most likely Luke Cage ready to go. I'm using a camera camera, yes. Because it gives really good quality, you know? I look. I think I look okay. I think we're better off, like, US agenting here. Yeah, we're going to see if they snap or not. And then let's move blit. Yeah, I'm thinking this. All right, we'll look into it. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Also, just a heads up, y'all. Ads are about to start shortly. Literally the best thing that could have happened here. The best thing that could have happened. Let's do this. Let's go for clog. Boom. These are all going to hit super hard. Polaris moves mid. So they... Yes! Beautiful. That's the... That was the hit we wanted. Yep. Minions to me. We are the future. More things to hit you with. They still lose there. Yep. Victory. I want a chibi, a chibi man thing emo. Good for you, as you should. As you should. I will not play ha Hella as Hella is right now. All right, let's get Luke Cage out. Oh, Cosmo Mystique. Disgusting. You know, if you want to just shut down Hella, Leech is always an option. I wouldn't normally recommend Leech, but difficult times. They require solutions. Leech can backfire with infinite, but that's only a single lane. Which meta specifically? What meta? I miss Zabu meta. I miss Zabu meta a lot. Uh, Falcon is a two cost, so we can move with Polaris. Opponent snapped. They're snapping for some reason? Trying to figure out why they're snapping. Fellow power on gamer. Dude, old Spidey where he did the web. Back when we were in the days of... What is... What's their play line here? I'm confused. What are they going to do with Human Torch? Symbiote Spider-Man was their last play, right? Big Torch Tribunal? I'm pretty sure Spider-Man was their last play, right? 
Or was it the Human Torch? So let's move that over there. I'm fine with it. Thank you for the four cubes. Victory. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the deck guide. I think we're going to have another video out on Thursday. I believe there is one being edited right now. The agent bounce list that I used to hit infinite this season. So stay tuned for that. If I do not see you for the rest of the week, well, we'll be back on Thursday on Twitch. But if I don't see you for the rest of the week, please remember to take care of yourself. Remember to eat food, drink water, take your meds, get enough sleep. And remember the world is better with you in it. I will catch you all next time. Thank you all for watching. Again, if you like the video, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. I will catch you all later. Have a good rest of your week.